Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. So today we are going to learn about one another machine learning project. So this project is all about our Snapchat filter. Okay. So Snapchat filter means what? So nowadays in our camera we have some filters like uh, you can take this face. Okay. Or you can add some specs or you can add some hair paint. So these all are the filters. So if you want to add a filter, so what, how you will do that, okay? So now we will see in this video, okay? So let me run this project first. So please join the code for kids. See, if I will move, it will detect my face and based on my face coordinate, it will apply some filter in my face. So this is just one filter. If you want to add another filter, even you can do. Okay. See. So here we have to use our face detection. And we have to use our video motion feature. In this project, we will use that. Okay. So now I will explain you how you will use this filter. And how you will create your project. Okay. So. Let's start our today's project, okay? So how we will start this? So first, we have to open our machine learning for the kids. Over here first, we will train our model, okay? So how you will train your model? So first thing, we need to click on get started suppose I will click on try now over here we have to add our project name so our project name I want to write filters okay means we can apply some filters here the recognition type we have to select a sound means based on our voice suppose if you will say next so, uh, suppose if you will add other features, like uh, if you will add some other filters, filters in the sense, suppose if you will add the filters like dog face, cat face, okay. So, that filter we can use here, okay. So, now how we will do that? So, first thing. After applying the sound, we need to just click on the create button. Now it will create one project for you. Over here, we have to click here. Now, wait. Add a project name. Write down project name. Filters. Your recognition type is the sound. Click on create button. After that, we have to train our model, okay? So, already you will get one background noise. After that, suppose if you want, if you have 10 filters and you want to apply that 10 filters one by one. So, we can say next year means if you will say next, automatically you will get your another filter, okay? If you will say next, automatically you will get your another filter. So, in background noise, we have to apply some features which is like a there is nothing okay so what you need to do you have to click on add example click on this button click on add so here you have to record the silence okay see add so we have to add at least 8 to 10 examples okay So this is our third one now. This is our fourth one. We have to add four more. Next. This is our seventh one. We have two, two, four, six, eight sound. Now we want to add one more label. So here, if I will write next, we need to click on add. 
over here we have to add example which is saying next next so you have to say next okay next next so we have to add five more next 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 so how many examples we added here eight now what is our next step we need to back to the project now we have to click on learn and test so uh, what we done here, we collected eight examples of our background noise and eight examples of the next, okay? Now we have to provide the training. So from here also we can test like a whether our model is working properly or not, okay? So now what will happen here? See, we created this model at this date and this time. Now, if you will click on start listening. So now, if you will say next, see, next. Next. See, it is recognized as a next with 72% confidence, okay? So, in this way, we can test our model here also. Again, we need to click on back to the project. We have to click on make. So, once you will click on make, we have to open this in a scratch 3. Open in a scratch 3. So, this is our first part how we will train our machine. So as you can see, we trained our machine, right? After that, we have to apply some filters here, okay? So how we will apply the filter? So I will delete this. So you can uh, just search for, suppose, Snapchat filters. So, if you will go to the images, you will get lots of images. So whatever image you want, you can just download that image. Okay. Whatever filter you want. Suppose I want this filter. So what you need to do, click on save image as save. Now come to your project over here. What we need to do? Click on this upload sprite. Now select this image. Open. See, this is our image. Now we have to start the coding part for this image. Okay. So how we will do this? How you will start your coding? So before starting the coding part, what we have to do here? We need to just first go to this extension part where you will get an extension. See this. Add extension. First, we want to add the extension which is video sensing. Okay. After that, we have to add our another extension which is face detection. Okay. So, by using this, we are able to detect the face. So, here you will get like a, what is the size of nose, mouth, left eye, right eye, everything you will get here, okay? So, now how we will start the coding part? Always we have to start from event, okay? So, we need to just click on event when flag is clicked, okay? So, when flag is clicked, so we want to show this, right? So what you need to do, just go to the looks, scroll down, 
here we will get show. After that, first I want to stop my video. Okay. So, where you have to go? Here you will get in the video, turn video. Instead of on, I will take it off. See? When flag is click, my video is off as you can see. Okay. After that, if I uh, like, if we want to say welcome back to Snapchat filter. So here we can write welcome back to Snapchat filter. Now, if I will run, you will get welcome back to the Snapchat filter. Okay. After that, we want to on the video. So we can take turn on the video. Now see, welcome back to Snapchat filter. After that, you will get your video. Okay. Then what we want to do now? Now we have to broadcast one message. Where we will get the broadcast inside the event. We have this broadcast message one. Okay. After broadcasting the message, once we will receive this message. So what we want to do? Can you just imagine what we want to do here once we will receive that message? So first we have to set our video transparency. Transparency means you want blur video or you want the video which is very clear. Okay, so for that we are taking the video transparency. After that, for our video which size we want okay so here we have a set size so here what we need to do in a set size first we need to set the nose coordinate okay so where we will get that so what we need to do first here in a set size to 100 percent here we need to set our nose coordinate so we need to just go to the operator. We will take this multiplication. So now you have two things. So first, suppose I want to multiply 4 with what is my x coordinate of the nose? Like what is my nose size? So here once you will scroll down, you will get size of nose. Okay. So first we need to set the size of the nose because some people have broad nose, some people have narrow nose like that. So we have to take a nose coordinate. Okay. After that, we have to start the listening. So here we have a start listening. Then we want to show our sprite. So here in the looks, we will get the show block. After this, we want this continuously, right? So what we need to do, we have to just go to the forever. Forever means anything if you want continuously. So here, we want to set the X position, Y position, okay? Because in the stage area, we have X and Y, right? So where uh, we will get our X and Y in the loops, we have X and Y, right? So, what we have to do, just go to the motion. See, we have set X and we need to take our set Y. So, which position we want here in the X and in the Y. So, first in the X. X means this part. So, for the X, we want to take our nose coordinate, right? So, we need to just scroll down in the face de uh, detection. You will get X coordinate of the nose on the stage, right? And here in the Y coordinate, what we need to do, we have to just click on this plus. And suppose I want in the Y 10 time. Okay, so 10 plus, what is your Y coordinate of the nose? So we need to just scroll down. You will get Y coordinate of the nose on the stage area. Okay. So this is our next part. Like a win, we will receive the message one. So what we want to do here. Okay. After that, we have a two more thing. 
let us see if I will run. We'll come back to the Snapchat filter. My video will on. So here we don't have this, right? So now this is our next part, how you will get that filter here, right? So what we have to do now, when you like a C, now in the machine learning, we have this, right? When I hear the next, miss, when I say next, next, so we want to apply next costumes, right? So for that, what we need to do, we have to just take next costume. So you need to just go to the looks here. We will get our next costume. So that we will add here. Okay. And after that, what we need to do when flag is clicked. So in the event, when flag is clicked. So what we want to apply here when flag is clicked. So here we want to show our block. So from here, we will get the show block. Now see if I will run, we'll come back to the Snapchat filter. See if I will move, it is taking my face coordinate like this, see? See, you will get that. And it is exactly taking my nose coordinate, my this coordinate, lips area, see? So if I will say next, it will change the costume. But here we have only one costume, right? So if you want to add the costume, you need to just go to the costume. From here, we can take upload costume. And you need to just download at least 8 to 10 images, which is related to your Snapchat filter. And you have to upload that images in your scratch part, right? Now, again, I will show you when I will run. We'll come back to the Snapchat filter. See if I, I will do like this. So, it will not take because see, my nose is not visible, right? But if my nose is visible, it will apply that filter on my face. If I will do like this, nothing will happen. Because my nose is not visible now. So like that, we can create a project which is related to the Snapchat filter. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. And press the bell icon if you want more latest update. Even uh, whatever project you want in the comment section, please mention that project. Okay. So in the next video, you will get that. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.